What is up guys? Welcome back to another reaction video and today you are tuning in with Triple N Entertainment. I'm Natalie. I am Nicole. You already know things though. If not, my god, welcome to the channel. But today we are doing a requested reaction. So real quick, shout out to this person right here. Ta-da. Voila. Alright. Yeah, but this one like caught me by surprise because um, you know, here I am thinking that the only, you know, Kendrick and J. Cole collabs are like where well, the time they've together. been on a track was Forbidden Fruit and uh there was another time, but I don't know. When when they collected the two verses and put them into like one song. What was that? I don't know, you showed it to me. Oh, the Black Friday? Mm -hmm. <sighs> yep, there was that too, but like on the same song. So when I saw that uh J. Cole and Kendrick was in this, along with like Big Cray, I was like, okay, you know, I have to hear this out. But this is clearly old. You can tell by the cover. There's DJ Cal. I mean, <laughs> they ready. They not ready. Major key. Wait, it was produced by J. Cole too? Mm. DJ Khaled? He's not really a DJ now. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But, um, DJ Khaled is a DJ. Do you see him riding his um thing in Miami? What the, uh, what was it? Wasn't it just like the motor thing? A ski jet. Yeah, remember when he got lost? <laughs> he was on a ski jet. He was like, they don't want you to make it home. Major key. <laughs> oh, bro. DJ Khaled's funny, bro. I know, it's right? weird at the same time. Yeah, but this is DJ Khaled, They Ready. <laughs> Featuring J. Cole, Big Crit, and Kendrick. This is explicit. I was about to pronounce that whole thing wrong. What did come out, though? 10, Ten years, years ago. I've been doing things. 13? Living with my life in bottles. So I mean. The grand flag speak stroke. Chicago, some people like Please the stop. way it feels. You are not even rapping it correctly, bro. <laughs> what to do? Some people like the way it feels. Some, some people want to kill this song. Oh. Some people want to fit in with the popular. That was my part. Okay, let's start. Okay. Master Flexman. Master Flexman. Master Flexman. Master Flexman. Master Flexman. Oh, you know, don't stop. Trying to run that clock. Oh, it's like who is this? Is this my first dad and just drop, scored a touchdown on my first down. Niggas blow out, it's gonna flop. See, I hustle like my mama, but I look just like my pops. <laughs> and we still duckin' cops. Ride around and take shots. Hennessy for my enemies. Niggas know I'm taking a spot. Cause that's scope upon the play clock. Show just how I came from way back. Just like T.I.P. told you ASAP. But you niggas rapping like ASAP, ASAP. Get a grip. Oh, that's your dream car. Nigga, that's my old whip. Oh, that's your dream girl. Nigga, that's my old bitch. That's your new flow, nigga, that's my old shit This that new crit shit, that cold shit Them country nigga One for the money, two for the show Three for them hoes saying anything Yo, they say they This that, this that, um, what is it? Born Center Forest Cold. Hill Huh? Drive <laughs> Excuse me, you got the whole album era mixed up mm -hmm. I know, but like right before he dropped his album this is when he was doing this, because he dropped Forest Hill Drive in 2014. True. But, like, the the way he's flowing right now, like, it reminds me of the, you know, how he was flowing on Born Center. You don't know about that, though. Just think about, I know Drake. back to Crooked Smile and Power Trip days. Mm -hmm. I thought that was, like, 2015. Okay, cool. No, was it? I can't remember. Didn't Born Center come out 2010? Oh, no, 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 I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. That was, uh, yeah, two, Born Center came out, I think, 2013. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I'm like, nah, because I could just, what was the first one? Uh, yeah, Silent Stories, that sh that came out 2010. All right. I don't know all of Drake's albums were back in 2010. I only got to listen to three or two more. You think you're better than me, Natalie? How many albums have you listened to? J. Cole. All of them. And I'm not exaggerating, and I don't mean that metaphorically, rhetorically, or any other fancy way. Alright. Yes, sir. But I like, like, so far, got a lot of music. Sound nice. He, he be dropping a lot of singles. You know, I gotta... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Let's start this. This that new crit shit, that cold shit, them country nigga One for the money, two for the show Three for them hoes saying anything Yo, they say they ready for whatever They say they ready for whatever I've been doing things, 
Been around the world, twice to be exact. Six bad bitches and they left up in the back. They say they ready for whatever. Okay. <laughs> they say they ready for whatever. Actually, is it had had his own song that he raps over, mm -hmm. and it don't matter who produces it, and he produces it like all he does is say another one, another yes, one. and then he'll be Major in the back. Key. God, dude, DJ Khaled. I don't know if you get taken. No, you don't want to take me. I want to be a baby. Oh, I forgot the lyrics. Yeah, but even in that song, DJ Khaled just said, DJ Khaled, another one. one. Mm -hmm. yeah, but his beats are fire, though. Back then, I remember seeing, like, a old clip from, it looked like back then, I don't know if it was the early 2000s or maybe late 90s or something, probably early 2000s, like, but he was actually DJing. Like, he had the, uh, I don't know if it was a the beat machine or, like, a DJ thing or whatever. Yeah, he was actually DJing. Now, though, no. He's not, he's not doing that. He is, and if he is producing it by actually by by himself, some people take samples of other songs and then they use like that. That's what DJs do now. They don't actually have the mixing machine anymore. The, they upgraded technology, so you don't need that. 
I know, but still, like, no, no, no. People still sometimes have their little, like, beat machine thing where you can press the buttons up there. People still use that. I know yeah. they have the stuff on the, uh, computer. The computer. I know they do that, too, but there's some people, like, they actually have the machine. Yeah, but that don't mean, like, they're real lead DJ. I know. You could be DJing, DJing, whether it's, like, on hand keyboard or, like, on your computer. That's why, like, even though his beats could compare to his old beats, mm -hmm. his beats are still good. That that that's all with Justin Bieber and um, Drake, fired. Oh, I really? believe that DJ Khaled made the beat because DJ that? Khaled was in the. We reacted to it, and um, it was Justin Bieber and Drake, and I was like, wait, this is on my phone, like I'm not. They were in the house, right? Yeah, they were in the house. And there was a bunch of girls, right? Yeah, there was a bunch of girls. It was Drake. He woke up as uh, Justin Bieber or something. I don't know what I happened. I don't think he woke up as Justin Bieber. No, no, no. Yeah, they both woke up as some random house. Yeah, that song was... It was like with Popstar, yeah. Yeah, Popstar. Yeah. All right. And DJ Khaled made the beat. The beat was good. The beat was good. That's why I'm like, you know, DJ Khaled cool. DJ Khaled good, you know. But DJ Khaled, he don't really be doing anything, so... But um, this song though, I would rate it. Um, I give it a nine. I give it an eight. I like uh, my favorite verse was Kendrick's. Yeah, Kendrick's. Mm -hmm. I like. Uh, but I liked uh, what was it? Cole's Cole's energy on yeah. it too. I like. I like. I liked Big Crit at like when he was like one, two. Your new flow is trash. <laughs> like, like when he was like, "That's trash." I was like, "Ooh." Oh yeah. I was like, "Thanks, Baritone." I feel like this was like a pretty good lineup for um features like Cole, Big Crit, and Kendrick. Honestly, that's the collab I'd even like to see in the DJ um, Khaled, the future. Yes. Well, it doesn't have to be DJ Khaled, but um, yeah, because Cole produced it, so it's like I, I, I don't know, I don't know how it goes or whatever, but um. Cole did a pretty good job with the beat, like, he did his thing. Um, yeah, but this is definitely, it's definitely what made it 2010 vibes, bro. Is if, is if Drake was in a, I better find your love and Nah, he was, he was still on his, uh, what was it, thank me, thank me later. Uh, I thought, um, October, Drake had just came out in 2010. Or was it, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, you're yeah. right, you're right. I know, I know I'm right, <laughs> because I listened to all his albums, I did. If not that, it. then it was, uh, nothing was the same. Definitely not, nothing was the same. I this came know. out 10 years ago. Yeah, but nothing, oh, do you, oh, you're talking about 2013 and not 2010? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, Thank Me Later, I think came out before 2013? Yeah. I can't exactly remember the dates, you know, I'm a little rusty. But I'm I know a rusty. that, like, five or, like, six of his albums came out after 2015. Mm -hmm. Or maybe seven. Yeah, but I like this, though. And, um, everybody just had that. This was, like, I want to say during, well, I know for Cole and Kendrick, this was both the time where they were, like, really coming up and, mm -hmm. like, starting to get uh, attention. So this was, like, when they still had the, um, when they was, like, hungry with the verses, bro. Like, just going all in. I, I want to say this was the same time around when Ken, the Control verse came out. With Kendrick or something, maybe around that time. Uh, you know the one that like shook up like all the rappers and stuff. But um, yeah, overall this was pretty good. I liked it. Um, this was a good request. Mm -hmm. I would have never found out about this if uh somebody didn't tell me. So I uh, thank you. This was definitely worthy. And oh. if y'all oh, went. Oh yeah. But if you guys have any more requests, um, make sure to leave them down in the comment section. Uh, leave your thoughts down there as well as always thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoy stay positive stay safe and most importantly have a blessed day and we out bye oh <laughs> bro I